Lamont Bentley, right? Him being your best friend, man. The dude, man, has so much potential, man. Out of curiosity, man, do you know what his plans was before he died, career-wise? He was working. His daughter, um, my little niece, man, she just had got a, a commercial book, the national, international commercial. And um, his focus was his his children, man. He he has two girls, and his focus was making sure their life is as amazing as it is to this day. You know what I mean? Brazil and um, Artesia, they doing wonderful. I love them. Send my send shots out to you. Uh, and that was his focus, man. Being the man and family man that he is and was, that he was. Um, all that mattered to him was to continue doing what he had already been doing, which is acting, of course. But now his children were coming up in in the in the acting world, so just to make sure their life is straight. R.I.P. Man, unfortunate man. He had a lot of potential, man. But I wanted to ask you, man, did you know Merlin Centena? I worked with Merlin on Steve Harvey's show. I met him on the set, and he was a real dude, down to earth, cool as hell. You know, yeah, I met him like, I didn't know him, but I met him, seen him out and about in the Hollywood, you know, scenes. And yeah, man, it's unfortunate to lose these brothers, to have lost these brothers at young ages, man. They never had a chance to fully grow and blossom and become more, you know what I mean? Sad, man. The way he died, man, was heartbreaking, man. Got killed in L.A. You know, a female, she lied on him, you know, then got him set up. The same female got him set up, man. 15-year-old girl, man, lied on that man and got him killed. It's been going on forever, bro. And it's not just in L.A. The nature of a female, I hate to say this, they don't know, you know, I, I, I don't really want to, I mean, it's been going on. You know what I mean? And why, I have no idea. You could be the realest dude really into her and she don't care about you really. You know, she acting like she care because you got something she want or she trying to get up out of you. You being from L.A., right? You see all these rappers, they come to L.A. and they get killed. Like, you know, Pop Smoke or PMB Rock. What advice would you give a rapper that come to L.A. for they can stay safe? Just... Come for your business, take care of what you don't try to floss and flaunt everywhere, stay out of clubs. I wouldn't even do a club, man. I'm cool. I don't want to be around a gang of people. I like my solitude, you know. I would stay to myself. Don't let everybody know who you are. Don't mess with these females that you think that you think are really into you. You know what I mean? Be selective choosy, keep somebody, keep something with you at all times, you know what I mean? And and make sure your security is right, man. Come out here, get your money, and get back home, man. Where you comfortable and you at ease and you got your people. But at, again, never be at ease, no matter where you are. I don't. I'm never at ease. I'm always alert and aware and knowing that if 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 it's me, I'm my first line of defense. So if I don't do it, nobody else can.